The examples I've shown you so far are interesting from an engineering or scientific context, but actually most corrosion in terms of metal loss is general corrosion, that is rusting bits of steel. And here is an example of a bit of steel that's been under, under the water for a long, long time. This is an example of a sunken ship. We think it's a flagpole of a sunken ship, actually, like that. It's covered and crusted in a whole range of deposits. Some of them are microbe deposits. There's a barnacle. These are often known as rusticles growing out from the sample. It's just, it's not metal, it's the deposit. Most of this is rust. In fact, if we feel the weight of it, it's not really all metal. It's almost all rusted away. From an archaeological perspective, if we find these objects buried in the sea or underground, we need to identify the original surface of the material so that we can reconstruct it and show it in a museum. As you can imagine, removing these kind of deposits is extremely difficult.